Hey guys, thanks for checking in with us today at Agrestic Acres. We are finally out working in our garden. If you've seen our other videos, you know we've been really busy getting our duck area set up and dealing with all the chicken changes and now the broody hens. But we had to get out here and finish this area because our last frost date is in the next few days and we need to get our plants in the ground. So a few weeks ago we got a pretty good sized tiller that we borrowed and we cleared this area which is approximately 4,000 square feet. Um, and if you look in the middle there, you can see how much it grew back. This was originally just grass and we we're trying to turn it into a garden obviously. So that middle area there is what had grown back after a few weeks. Um, we tilled it up, we didn't rake it out the first time and so that came back. So it's much thinner than it was, but it's still way too much grass. So now we are going through with a little um, much smaller tiller that we just bought off Amazon and it's taking a long time it's a lot of work but we're going through and we're retilling and then we're raking up all the grass chunks and we're taking those and hauling those out somewhere else out of the garden so they won't grow back and that's what we're working on so it's been a long process but um, we should finish it shortly and then we can get our garden going over here we have all our seedlings um, if you remember we grew these actually down the basement on a rack that just had some um, artificial lights. So these are tomatoes, um, as you can see, I think we have some peppers there. So some of them, these ones over here, are starting to look kind of yellowish, so I actually just gave them some fertilizer. I believe that might be nitrogen they were missing, so I gave them just a little bit of organic fertilizer just maybe an hour ago. This tray was still kind of growing, this was the last one I planted, but they've been growing for a while. Um, this one's looking a little more I mean, they only stay in these pots for so long and then you need to fertilize them, move them to bigger pots. They're really ready to get into the ground. We have some peppers here, some different herbs. We actually had a whole tray of peppers that did not turn out. So we are gonna buy some peppers. Originally I was thinking 30 to 40 peppers, but we're gonna end up with less now. These are some plants that we picked up yesterday um, from a local farm stand. They have really great prices. We got a bunch of herbs. Um, they had just a huge variety. You know, we planted one type of basil. They had like six or seven different types there. So we got some more, you know, just varieties of um, different kinds, including some lemongrass, which is the tall one there. And then we did get some peppers, which were really, really good prices. Um, so we're excited to get those in the ground. Okay, so we've been working out here for a few more hours. Um, as you can see, we have half the garden tilled up, and we finally have our cattle panel set up. So if you haven't used cattle panels in your garden before, definitely do some research and check it out because this is our first year um, using them, but I think it's gonna solve some major problems that we've had with our garden in the past. So the cattle panels themselves, um, you can see here we have two that are arched over. They are 16 feet long and 50 inches. They're from, these ones are from Tracker Supply. They're about $22 each. So here we're going to do beans, um, you know, climbing beans. We're going to do one on each side. They're going to kind of arch over. And then underneath, because we'll have some shade created, we're going to do lettuce. And I kind of cleared a spot where I'm going to start. And then, you know, I'm going to progressively plant lettuce, um, you know, a little bit at a time, maybe every week or so, so we have it throughout the, the summer and hopefully the fall. So that's what we have there. And in the past, we've done a couple different types of bean arch supports, one with PVC pipe, one with string and wooden posts, and they all seemed okay at first, but once the weight of the um, beans get on there and it was windy and they never were very secure, so I think this would be a good solution that will actually last hopefully for several years or more. Over here we have what is going to be all tomatoes. So we have two cattle panels side by side and two long rows here, and my plan is to put 10 tomatoes on each side of these so each row will have 20. So 10 on each side so 16 feet will ha have about five tomato plants. Um, that's definitely more space than I've given my tomatoes in the past but I didn't have much choice. So this year we're going to give them more space. We have about I think nine feet in between these two rows here which would be plenty of room. So that'll be where our tomatoes go. And in previous years we've used when we had a few plants we've used tomato cages. Those are fine if you're just doing a handful. But of course, if you're doing 40 tomato plants like we're gonna do this year, that's just not cost effective at all. Last year I did um, these T-posts, the same ones we have here, 
but I just put string in between them and then I kind of slowly tied the tomato plants to the strings. That worked well at first, but as the plants got bigger, heavier, and more fruit growing, they just got too heavy. So this year we're using the cattle panels and from what I've um, seen on YouTube, I think it's going to be great, uh, a lot sturdier and more supportive for the plants. And I'm gonna use um, tomato clips to attach them. So I think it'll be great. So we're excited. I'm gonna go ahead now and actually get some of the first seeds in the ground. I'm gonna plant the beans over there by the archway because we're supposed to get rain for about three or four days. So I wanna get at least something in the ground and uh, use that rainwater that's gonna be free watering for the garden. Thanks for checking in. We'll be back soon as the garden progresses. Just kind of an initial, we're finally getting started video. We appreciate you watching and hope you have a great rest of the weekend.